I'm Jeff with armadillopepper.com. Today we're going to make Cajun blackened mahi-mahi taco and a creamy avocado sauce. For this slaw, I've got about a third of uh, red cabbage here that I just sliced up, you can see. I've got about a quarter cup of red onion. I got a half of a jicama chopped up. Then we're going to put some cilantro, about a quarter cup, and then a serrano pepper. Uh, a lot of folks tell me that their wives or, or they can't, they don't care for real spicy food. So this serrano is uh, a really mild pepper. Then we've got uh, juice from half a lime. And then about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. And I'm just going to mix this up. For this avocado sauce, I've got two avocados here. I just chopped them up a little bit. A cup of sour cream. For those of you that like sriracha, you could certainly put a tablespoon or so of sriracha. A teaspoon of minced garlic. And about a tablespoon of salt, a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of pepper. And then we're just going to drizzle a little olive oil in there. And you may need to add more, depends on how thick you want it. Now this is a two pound fresh mahi filet. Just going to cut it up in some sections here. Just make it easier to grill. I mean we're going to be making tacos anyway. And then to season this, I'm going to use this Tennessee whiskey Cajun blackened seasoning. I'm not going to go too heavy because this one can be a little spicy. I've got this grill as hot as I can get it. Grill time for these about three minutes aside if your grill's really cranked up. I'm just going to get these off the grill. We're going to let them cool down a little bit. And then we'll get them ready for the tacos. Now we're just going to cut these guys up a little bit. All right, let's build one of these tacos. So, we've got our slaw there we made. Some of our mahi. Now let's put some of our avocado sauce on here. Okay, let's give one of these guys a try. Mm. First of all, there's a lot of crunch from that slaw. Mm. Mahi Mahi, of course, as you know, is such a mild fish. And because we went light on the Cajun blackened seasoning, you can certainly taste it. But for those of you that don't like a lot of spice, it's definitely not too spicy. And that avocado sauce just gives it a little creamy touch to, to really complement that crunch that's going with that mahi-mahi. 
Hey, thanks for watching another episode. I hope you hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment.